Okay, we have Dear Lou Strands. I was in love with a man that was not a man, but more of a boy. You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Morello Kane, and you have joined the Hair Debates segment of Lou Strands. This letter is quite interesting. And um, sometimes, you know, the stresses that you go through, your hair just cannot deal. And those are the things that you have to consider is truly how stress affects the body. And next week, join me with my co-host. Yes, I will be with you next week with the co-host for um, Fashion Flare with Hair. And so for our loose strand letter today, Okay, we have Dear Lou Strands. I was in love with a man that was not a man, but more of a boy. Okay, he worked, but he but the money he made went to the strip clubs. He didn't drive, not even wanted to. So a lot fell on me. Okay, wow. I became a dancer to generate fast money. So my appearance affected how I got paid. The stress of the relationship affected my hair over time. It started breaking off bad. Wow, okay. I didn't know what to do about it, but I knew that I was not gonna wear my hair. And some of the girls at the club was doing their own hair. So I already see how this is gonna go. The look at the club is long and flowing hair, yes. I could see that. The shortcuts were hot too. So I thought I could do this myself. I used glue to install the hair. Mm -hmm. With breakage, yeah. And because it was quick and easy, this was the best method for me. After several years of this fast life of dancing and stress from my husband, I had enough. I moved to get away from that life of dancing and divorce my husband. Wow. After meeting someone new, I was still embarrassed of my hair being broken off, unhealthy, and not growing. It got to the point where it affected my love life. And with this new person in my life, yeah, it was causing some issues. After some time, I expressed it to my fiance and he understood exactly how I felt. Um, he, had, he made me take the hair out, helped me to shave my hair completely off, kissed my head and told me how much he loved me. My life has never been happier than it is right now it is totally complete. Even though my hair has not grown back and I don't know why, I am now a business owner, happy wife and proud mom. Sign, smooth head and happy. Shut up. Okay, well, wow. It was a lot going on that she was basically going through. But when I tell you the stresses um, of a relationship, can do a lot of damage to your hair, okay? Um, we have to understand um, that when it comes to stress, now first of all, you know, she was dealing with stress, her hair has started breaking, okay? So not attending to that breakage is basically gonna continue to set up to break. I mean, it's, it's, it's unhealthy at that point, you know, so basically what you have to do is go in and strengthen that hair, okay? Because the hair is weak and it's breaking off. Okay, but then on top of that, on top of the hair breaking, now you are applying glue to it. Okay, so now we we understand that, you know, the hair, it, so now in its breaking stage, understand what it's going through, it's thinning out. 
And when you apply that glue on top of that thin hair, that's the same thing that I basically went through in my own story. So when I read this story, I was like, wow, how relatable it was to what I had basically gone through through my own hair battle. And when I tell you, um, you know, it, it was, you know, looking at this and then, okay, so then we're talking about some years of going through this. And so using that glue over the course of the years on your hair that is thinning, you know, you could have possibly done damage to those follicles. Because right here, she said, you know, um, even though my hair has not grown back, I don't know why. So let's just talk about that for a second. You know, when it comes to um, the follicle being damaged again, now she's doing this herself. So like a lot of you out there who are applying the glue to your hair, not going to a hair care provider, Okay, so can you imagine um, the damage that you're doing to your hair? Because now, you're not using the same technique that a hair care provider would use, which, which is one, which should be, let me say, um, you know, you could use a glue remover. Okay, that is one possible way. Um, I'll also, too, go behind it with a conditioner and just uh, put my place, my clients under the dryer and allow them to sit and allow that product to kind of work through. It can, you know, the conditioner is going to soften the hair. It's going to loosen that glue up and then start detaching that hair from it. Okay. And so now that is one particular technique that you can use. But again, you should definitely seek the advice of your hair care provider. Because there is no way that you taking that hair out yourself, you could be using a, a glue remover, but you have to use something. But you know, over time, when you start doing something over time, and like she said, one of the things in, in which I know about this, because it affected me with mine as well, um, when she stated that that was the quickest and the easiest and the best method for her. Don't we all want you know, something fast, hurry, and in, in those cases, you know, that's when the most abuse happened, you know, because you're not being attentive, you're not caring, you're just ripping and taking it off and applying it back on. And so, um, how many of you out there are doing that? Those are, that's one of the things that you have to ask yourself. And so, you know, looking at that, I definitely can see, um, you know, how the follicle could possibly, be, because again, at this point, you would need to seek, I'm um, saying our professional, which is a dermatologist, our specialist, which is a dermatologist, you know, because at this point, you know, we would need to address and check your follicles and see if any damage has, you know, happened there. But now, what was just so loving to me, and let me just say, when I read this letter, it was very touching, you know, uh, from the simple fact that, you know, she was embarrassed about how her hair was doing. You know, it was broken off, unhealthy, and not growing. That can cause some people to go into depression. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. And so, you know, our hair, you know how we are about our hair. You know, so, and then, you know, where it starts affecting your love life, that has to be addressed immediately. And so you, you, can't, you can't play around with that at all. And so, um, you know, when it comes to, again, in addressing these issues with your hair, do seek the advice of your hair care professional. Don't try to do it yourself, you know. And again, too, um, you know, but what was so loving is how her fiancé helped her out with that, you know, helped her with shaving her hair off because, again, that is really what needs to be done. All of it needs to come completely off in order to start setting that hair up for regrowth. You know, that's the only way that you can really see what the hair is going to do at that point. When all of the damaged hair is removed, okay? And so, if it's damaged from roots in, go ahead and just take it off. You know, I had someone to tell me, you know, I went to one hair care provider, you know, one week, you know, that gave me a trim. You know, three weeks later, I went to someone else and she gave me a trim. Didn't understand why, you know, but understand that when a person gives you a trim, um, ask them how much is actually damaged. 
because we are conditioned to when we sit in the chair we holler trim you know and so when we get that trim that trim is exactly what it is it may not be addressing taking off all of the dead hair so that's one of the things that you have to consider you know how much of that dead hair is actually coming off and that's what i had to tell her all of your dead strands may not have been taken off with the first trim. So when that next hair care provider, you know, trim saw your hair and what needed to be taken off, you, you know, had gone to someone else. Of course, you know, you're not going to mention that, well, this other person just did my hair over here, you know, because you don't want to seem like a chair hopper. Mm -hmm. But, um, but that's exactly what it is you know you have to be honest and you know be serviced by somebody that you can be totally honest to okay so i tell you this is our segment of loose strands and i absolutely love this segment you know because it you know i can get personal with you guys and your stories and how hair affects the things that you go through okay and you can join us do share and and you know what i should have been screaming share throughout all of this because this information right here is very vital we all know someone that is doing their own hair okay share it to them we all know that someone that is going through stress and how it's affecting their hair share it with them okay and so um you can find me on the hair debate instagram okay facebook the hair debate and again, MoreauOnThingsHair.media to keep in touch on what we're going on um, here on the platform. There's a lot going on in 2018 and you definitely want to stay connected. But next week, when I tell you my co-host, you're not ready. You're not ready for what we're about to bring to you. It's going to be um, absolutely phenomenal. So you do want to join us next week, next Wednesday. Um, we'll be at our regular time at 1 o'clock. I had to do something special today. And um, but I tell you, you stay tuned. And like I always say on the platform with the hairdebate.com, we come to debate, debunk, and discover all things here.